Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So ready for today's NEP presentation? Good afternoon. Very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Who's turn now today for NEP presentation? Yes, I so today is 11th it's dr avdesh uh, sumit is absent so he will be uh, presenting tomorrow mr muhammad ali khan mr nitin mr omji yasmeen and neha garwal ma'am who is going to begin today's presentation for nep 2020 okay dr avdesh fine uh, you may please begin. Let me pin your screen. Okay. Please do begin your presentation for the day on NEP 2020. Yeah, please. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. And good afternoon, all my uh, fellow OSHA members. As a uh, I'll start first with the introduction by Dr. K. Kastui Ranjan, what he has uh, aimed at. He aimed at the vision of India's new educational system has been crafted to ensure that it touches the life of each and every citizen consistent with their needs and necessities. Besides creating a just and equitable society, he said, the approach is to realize a new system aligned with the aspirational goals of the 21st century's education while remaining rooted to India's value systems and ethos. So uh, this uh, was the vision and the uh, notion behind this NEP 2020. And uh, if I summarize that what uh, has uh, been or what has been aimed at, a uh, few points are there which uh, uh, are aimed uh, as far as this uh, NEP is concerned. So the NEP, as uh, my uh, earlier predecessors here, they also have discussed, it is like that, that NEP 2020 focuses more on practical rather than theoretical learning. The new education policy enables every student to get quality education, irrespective of their socioeconomic background and gender or disability. NEP 2020 en uh, enables teachers to use a variety of learning techniques and equipments. And it gives students the freedom to choose any subject or any stream without restrictions. NEP 2020 emphasizes the overall development of the education system, ensuring universal access at all levels of school education. It also attaining foundational literacy and numeracy reforms in uh, school curricula and pedagogy, focus on early childhood care and education. So these are some of the visions which uh, uh, has been or which have been envisioned by the committee uh, as per the uh, NEP 2020. My point is that that uh, all these goals, how all these goals will be uh, achieved. So to achieve that goals, the this committee has suggested to formulate an standard settings uh, and accredit uh, accreditation uh, for a school education accreditation so uh, if i go further about this topic standard setting and accreditation for school education in 20, uh, in 2020 the indian ministry of education introduced the nep 2020 replacing the 34 year old national policy on education that was uh, in 1986 along with the many reforms in the policy to strengthen higher education in the country, the NEP mandated accreditation to uh, of all state and schools from grade one to twelve. Accreditation is a, a process carried out to improve uh, the standards of education, outcomes, and governance of schools. It looks at measures such as the quality of teaching, attendance, member of uh, uh, number of teachers across subjects and grades, safely fi uh, safety, financial pro uh, probity curriculum, basic sustainable infrastructure, resources, community, participation, governance, process, and accountability. A fair, transparent, and uh, rigorous accreditation and uh, evaluation process 
can enable education system to change the academics. Now here and uh, the further this uh, committee has ensured that the management and, and leadership of institution for the better. And in this, what they said that what procedure they will adopt to ensure all these things. The procedure is that under this system, all schools, state run and privately run, have ensured to establish minimum standards in key performance performance domain. These in responsibility, it's the infrastructure, teaching quality, community participation, integrity, and inclusion. The process is based on predefined standards is carried out uh, by an authorized authorized body of the state uh, education department. Accredita accreditation is not uh, new to the Indian education system before the days that already exist. For example, we, you must all have heard or uh, must be knowing that NAC, National uh, Assessment and uh, Accreditation uh, Council, that was set up in 1994 with the aim of making quality uh, assurance an integral part of higher education institutions in, in India. If we give, uh, if we uh, just take a second example of uh, this accreditation, then the second one was that the national program on school standards and evaluation, uh, uh, also known as Sala Siddhi, uh, was launched in 2015 to conduct school evaluations aimed at improving the quality of education. And then uh, for the third example, if I can take, then the third one is that in, nine, uh, in 2009, the Gujarat state government started an initiative called Ganutso, celebration of education. And in 2019, this was revamped and introduced an, as Ganutso 2.0 uh, with the objective of uh, accrediting schools. Now, what this uh, NAP proposes, this NAP uh, means proposes for the various stakeholders of uh, this uh, system. The NAP has asked each state to form an independent and autonomous body. That is most importantly, uh, the NAP has asked each state to form an independent and autonomous body. That is a state school standards authority that uh, we can say in sort of triple S A by 2023. So these SSA's uh, bodies will be responsible for regulating public and private schools and monitoring that they maintain the minimum common standards. Furthermore, according to the uh, directives in the NEP, the State Council of uh, Education Research and Training will work towards the developing a school quality assessment and accreditation framework with the support of the uh, multiple st uh, stakeholders, including schools, education departments and uh, non-profits in order to implement the policy effectively, the framework they, uh, they will develop will focus on setting parameters of a school performance and such as academia, infrastructure, finances and teaching quality and identify critical uh, areas for improvement. All these schools will be assessed on these uh, set standards and the self-disclosure of all essential information will be published on the SSA, triple SA website, as well as on the website of each school. So at the end of the assessment, all schools will be uh, provided with a report card consisting of comprehensively analyzed data and insights. So uh, these are some points which uh, uh, I think the uh, uh, NEP 2020 aims at and how it will uh, means uh, just bring these uh, visions into reality. Now, uh, if uh, ma'am, I uh, have your permission, uh, if I can share my screen to you. Yeah, you can let me allow. And uh, how much time will you take? Will we be able to cover all the participants? Just uh, uh, only five minutes. I need Okay. It. All right. You can share it now. I'm sharing. <clears throat>
Well, to you, ma'am, or to everybody. Yeah, you are audible. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, you are audible. audible. You are audible. May my excuse visible to you? Yes, yes, is visible. You you can speak. Ma'am, screen is okay. Okay. So, yeah. uh, the teachers, uh, for uh, one example, I would like to take that uh, how this NEP is also uh, trying to attract the students, children to school. Here, if you see uh, the fellow teachers, they must be uh, aware about it. Earlier, we had such type of games. We uh, just uh, tried to uh, bunk the school and involve in such type of uh, uh, means uh, games, uh, uh, you know, in or around our how you know houses or uh, streets. So these were the games we used to play rather than going to school. Now the NEP 2020 has aimed to provide such type of games uh, in its uh, schools that will be, uh, you know, attracting for the students as uh, the formula five plus three plus three plus four is there. So if you see it in the existing system uh, or existing games, for the children uh, of their uh, means uh, interest. But now what will happen? See, the schools are aimed to do like this. Now, if schools uh, are asked or schools will be asked to uh, provide these sorts of activities for the small uh, kids so that their schooling or the uh, starting of their career means uh, schools. So this is how the NEP uh, is aiming at. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Must stop sharing the screen. Uh, click on stop share. Click on stop share, please. Click on stop share in the center. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, uh, whatever uh, it was shared by Dr. Avdesh, it was most of the points they were related to admin, most of the points they were related to uh, successful implementation of NEP through NCRT, through SERT, and all, all these points they have been discussed, most of them they are related to uh, the administrative part, right? How the NEP will be implemented. And what he has just shared right now, like most of uh, the students earlier also, when we are talking about especially the government schools or maybe other schools where the children, they were uh, just dropout rate was much and the children, they were not taking interest in the school activities too because uh, school activities, the classroom uh, education, like it was monotonous for them one way only. Students, they were the passive listeners, right? So that's why they were not taking interest in that. And why not to bring the same into the school only? Taki at least Usiko Kele Gele, Usiko Karnekele, they will be coming to the school at least Kisi Tarike se unka interest ho. Like, which is unko yadrete. So that is the objective for that. Okay, the next participant, thank you, Dr. Avdesh. You're welcome, ma'am. Uh, next participant, please. Mulvinder, next. One, uh, Mr. Sumit is absent. Who is the uh, next participant? May I name or you will come on your own? Good afternoon, ma'am. May I audible? Yes, yes, audible. audible, please. Yeah. I can't see you. Where are you? Who is this? Uh, this uh, Mr. Muhammad Ali, ma'am, actually, very uh, poor network, actually. Where are you sitting? I can't see you. Can I share my screen, ma'am? Uh, sure, wait, wait, wait. Wait a moment. Now you can share. Mm -hmm. 
Any difficulty in sharing? Because I've uh, okay, fine. No, no, no. Yeah, it's visible now. It is visible it's, now. It's visible, but you should put it on a uh, slideshow mode. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, it is sharing actually. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, today we'll discuss the curtailing dropout rate and ensuring universal access to can education. You, can you put it on slideshow mode, Mr. Ali? If there is any issue, to, no problem, you can continue like that only. So, uh, this is basically uh, one of the primary goal of the schooling system must be to ensure that children are enrolled in and attending the school. In our country, we face dropouts at very uh, high rate. So in NEP 2020, we have planned that the dropout rate should be reduced as much as possible. So for that, there are two overall initiatives that will be undertaken to bring children who have dropped out back to school and to prevent further children from dropping out. The first is to provide effective and sufficient infrastructure so that all students have access to safe and engaging schooling, education at all levels, from primary schooling to grade 12. So this is our first objective. And the second is to achieve universal participation in a school by carefully tracking students as well as their learning levels in order to ensure that they, number one, are enrolled in and attending a school. But we have to focus on the students are enrolled in a school or not. And if they are enrolled, they are attending the school or not. We uh, have suitable opportunities to catch up and re-enter school in case they have fallen behind or drop out. And if they have dropped out in by any reason, we have to catch up and re-enter them into the school again. So to facilitate learning for all students with a special emphasis, the uh, socio-economically disadvantaged group that is SEDG, the scope of schools, the uh, the scope of a school education will be broadened to facilitate multiple. Uh, Mr. Ali, which which slide you are explaining? We are uh, just able to see slide number two. I'm on slide number four, ma'am. No, actually, I guess your slideshow is not working. You please exit the slideshow and go ahead like that only because only second slide is visible where it is mentioned curtailing dropout rates. Okay. Now it's visible, ma'am. Now we can see slide number three, where it is written point number four.
you may exit slide show and you can start moving the slides only with arrow keys without the slide show from the normal view okay ma'am yeah. okay ma'am so this was our second slide which we can see right now so uh, let's move uh, to the second you point click click on the slide now third slide number 3 from the left hand side slides pane yeah now uh, you are on fourth number slide now this is the uh, third slide this is third point one four, yeah point yeah, number 4 yeah yeah yes so uh, the second uh, aim is to achieve universal participation in a school by carefully tracking students so we have to be very careful tracking students as well as their learning levels not only we have to track them for the school attendance as well as their learning levels in order to ensure that they are enrolled in attending schools and have suitable opportunities to catch up and re enter school in case they have fallen behind or dropped out and if they have dropped out in any way we have to catch them and re enter the school somehow so to facilitate learning for all students with special emphasis on socio economically disadvantaged group sedgs the scope of school education will be broadened to facilitate multiple pathways to learning involving both formal and non formal education modes for that open and distance learning odl program offered by national institute of open schooling basically uh, this is one way that we can provide education to the children those who are uh, belongs to economically weaker section they may have uh, not uh, uh, a huge amount of money to uh, afford the fees structure of the school so nios has plan for such a student so i like to show you uh, the dropout rates the serious issue i would like to discuss with you the data indicates some serious issues in retaining children in the schooling system the ger gross enrollment rate for grade 6 to 8 was 90.9% while for grades 9 to 10 79.3% and for 11 to 12 56% means uh, up to 11 and 12 50% of the student drop out indicating that a significant proportion of enrolled student drop out after grade 5 and it start basically after grade 5 the drop out rate or the uh student uh, used to drop out from the fifth standard and this survey was conducted by nsso and sso basically uh national sample survey office and which is the india's the biggest survey office for uh, socio economically section and it was conducted during uh, 2017 and 18 and if you uh, go through this pandemic i think it will be the increase one because plenty of student have dropped out the school have left the school they may have many reasons but i have, even i have experience and uh, you people might have experienced that plenty of student have fell on out uh, during this pandemic so it was 
the survey during this session 17 and 18 with saying that the number of out of school children in the age group 6 to 17 year is 3.22 crore so this is a serious issue that we have to look after for it that our children this much of children are not getting the basic education so it's our responsibility to re-enter them into the educations once again so it will be our top priority to bring these children back into the education fold as early as possible and to prevent further students from dropping out with a goal to achieve 100% gross enrollment ratio in preschool to secondary level by 2030. So it is a plan by NEP that we should achieve this goal, the 100% uh, gross enrollment ratio will be uh, in 2030. Almost a 10 year plan. Uh, a concerted nation effort will be made to ensure universal access and afford opportunity to all children of the country to obtain quality holistic education, including vocational education from preschool to grade 12. So uh, this is what I have... Uh, made uh, for my side for this uh, and uh, would like to know about your uh, your contribution like how will you be able to implement the same when we are talking about curtailing dropout rates and all certainly we are focusing on the government school, yes yes where exactly the, uh, as very, you have already shared uh, like socially disadvantaged groups are there like children they are not able to get the exactly, education exactly. because of number of reasons so when our objective is universalization of education so we need to focus on that right so if i talk about as an individual as a teacher like uh what is your uh step that you will be taking in any of the aspects i'm not talking about exactly. only uh, curtailing dropout rate i'm not talking about that like any aspect of the NEP that that fascinates you and you want to implement the same, like what will you do? Uh, we can have uh, extra school schooling means uh, in the second half, like uh, in uh, many cities, we have uh, uh, two sessions, uh, like uh, morning session and evening session. So we can plan for that uh, the weaker student for evening session by evening session because they may they may need to work for their livelihoods so they can come after that uh, they comfortable in evening hours so that they can uh, utilize their morning hours in earning some livelihood second session I, so i do understand can, uh, i do that. understand your point sorry to intervene here uh, mr mohammed ali see whatever your point is i do understand but that is uh, the point that is an initiative that will be taken by the management if they want to go ahead with i mean two shift school morning is another shift and uh, evening shift is another for the weaker section uh, and all that is a different thing my question to you is as an individual like what is responsibility given to you you are an ict teacher information communication teacher you are an IT teacher, information technology teacher. You are teaching computer sciences also. Maybe on the in the upcoming days, you will be uh, talking about artificial intelligence, maybe other uh, topics that are related to that. H what is your role? How will you contribute in making this, the objectives of NEP uh, really, I mean, a success? What will you do in, in the premises, in the school, wherever you are working or maybe outside, especially we will, we would like to know what will be your contribution so that Shamford will be uh, a great success? Uh, Shamford will be a great success. Uh, then we uh, need to work together for this. Uh, uh, use, use the pronoun I. Say, I will do this. 
this is my plan i am going to do it i want to uh, listen that very very specific terms very very specific ha uh, main ye karunga mera ye plan hai i will do this okay i hope now this is very very clear okay yeah yeah it's clear uh so what should i do uh as far as uh, uh the uh, education is concerned we can go uh, as a being computer science teacher i may use this online mode to teach uh, a student who really want to do uh, uh, the study on online mode uh, for that uh, they may need a device as well so that will be a issue तो सम हाउ वी हैव टू अरेंज और आई हैव टू अरेंज द डिवाइस फॉर द वीकर सेक्शन एटलीस्ट फॉर एट टू थ्री स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट दे कैन डू देयर स्टडीज ऑन ऑनलाइन मोड मोर ओवर आई कैन हैव द कंपेनिंग वेयर आई कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सम एंड कैन मीट पीपल एंड gather some information that what kind of problem they facing and how can a, a teacher a school can help their children uh so that they can get the education okay thank you and uh, now agar main aapki jagah par hoti had i been at your place i would have said like mera kya view hota because since we are from the same same background okay Ma'am, I am easy to connect with the uh, IT teachers or maybe the science teachers, like right? because they are my favorite subjects, right? I have studied them in detail. So, just would like to tell you, like being an IT teacher, सबसे पहले मेरा क्या objective होता? I would have helped the uh, helping hands to all my colleagues who are not that tech savvy, who are not good at computers. I would have said like that uh, your two and a half hours, your stay back time from that, I must have used. maybe an hour or half an hour to train my colleagues so that they will be finding it very very comfortable to use ict in the classrooms without it teachers help first of all this is what you can do for the teachers and certainly you have already said like the students who are weak now i don't understand you are talking about weaker section economically or you are talking about weaker on economically, academic economically economically weaker section economically. okay so mostly if the students they can come to chamford they are affording the fee also they are not coming from those kind of weaker section but you are talking about the children outside the school right who are studying in them different schools and you want to open a kind of ngo or something so that uh, the children they can come to you and you can support them online medium or whatever i guess that is your objective so uh, social service certainly you should do it i am also doing it for my teachers right you can also do it for your students all the best so who is the next Thank one you. who is the next one am i be speaking now good morning ma'am good afternoon ma'am Ma'am, with your permission, I would like to share my screen. Sure, sure, you can. स्पीकिंग ऑन द टॉपिक टीचर्स एंड देर एजुकेशन Uh, basically we all know that india has uh, been the, the country of sages and gurus since ages we have like uh, have had so many famous gurus uh, no need to mention them so uh, when we talk about national uh, education policies uh, then the role of teachers is very important uh, like uh, if we think of school then two Uh, basically faces come to our mind that is first of all the teachers one and the students so without uh, any one of them it is 
uh, impossible to even imagine what a school looks like. So uh, when we make so policies of uh, policies for the betterment of students, then it is also important to think about the teachers because since the time is changing very rapidly, so there are many new pol uh, policies, technologies coming, uh, which a student is uh, like we can say is very much uh, aware of and since the teachers uh, due to the ages also and when uh, the time is also changing so it is it becomes important for for the teachers also to know the technologies so that they can be like at par with the students so <laughs> therefore i have uh, taken the issue uh, this topic teachers and their uh, education uh, see uh, it becomes from the like uh, teachers, we all know that they are the true uh, creators of the nation uh, as this, they shape the future of the children um, and in the national education policy also, there has been a huge focus on teachers training as well. If we talk about like uh, 1968, in the policies of 1968, the operation and 1986, Operation Blackboard was launched. So that was also uh, there. Then uh, so many trainings on Operation Blackboard was uh, given to teachers so that they could utilize uh, Blackboard effectively for their teaching and for various other activities. So <clears throat> after that, so uh, the teachers, the first thing it, it starts with the recruitment process and their deployment see we all know that uh, many of us think uh, that we have this uh, like habit of like explaining things uh, so we think that we are inborn teachers many of us think that we are inborn teachers but uh, after that also there are since uh, i mentioned in the beginning also there are many uh, like things uh, may, which are changing rapidly uh, since the technology is changing so even though we think that we are like in one teacher there are many things which we need to understand we need to upgrade ourselves with the time so for these uh, various national education policies have like uh, focused on this um, they have like set up uh, the diets we know the diets were set up in according to the national education policies 1986 then uh, then SCRTs, it launched the slivers and so many like changes have been made in the in the like various education policies. So basically, the first thing is in the 19 uh, national NEP 2020, we have seen like the four year integrated BA programs will be launched. So uh, finally, what will happen? A student as soon as he passes a uh, 12th class, so uh, he will have the right to choose this four year integrated program. Like we have. Uh, this uh, program of uh, B -tech, B -tech. So similarly, uh, we had a four-year program will be the, uh, the good thing about this will be like they will be able to save uh, one year because if we do graduation, that is three years and two years of beard. In this, the four years, so one year will be saved. And uh, in this policy uh, and in the other previous policies also, like teachers eligibility test was strengthened, they were encouraged um, so that like uh, teachers, like if there is a mathematics teacher, I, I take example. So, it, no doubt, like he has studied mathematics his whole life, so mathematics still will be strong. But uh, since I mentioned, uh, times are changing, technology is changing. So, these uh, teacher eligibility tell, get to know when, when we get the tests. Uh, um, so, yeah. And uh, then comes the classroom demonstration or interview. It is good, like one could like know many things, but when, when it comes to speaking and demonstrating something so there the real things come because a teacher we know that we are not uh, like sitting behind the table and doing our job it is a job is to like demonstrate or present our uh, like subject in front of students so at that time it becomes very crucial very important uh, for us to like uh, be able to demonstrate or whatever the subject knowledge we have it uh, becomes very important to uh, showcase that to students and so then in this education policy the schools and school compl uh, complexes will also be encouraged to hire local eminent persons or experts ex uh, master instructors in various subjects so these were the few uh, things which were encouraged and then after that uh, one thing more uh, this uh, service environment and culture so in this education policy 
basically the environment in which a teacher works uh, that has also like uh, the things the major points which have been like emphasized are decent and pleasant uh, pleasant service conditions at schools it involves like uh, adoption of innovative formats like i mentioned um, uh, as we have seen operation blackboard in the previous education policies nowadays it is operation whiteboard we have seen like um, uh, whiteboards in the class they are like so uh, rationalization of school then again school governance community building resource sharing so these all things also we then teachers will also focus on social economic so these this thing also will be taken care of and then comes continuous professional development so the the thing which we are doing right now it is a kind of nitin sir you are not audible uh. so this only is talked about here like continuous professional development is also necessary Uh, Nitin sir, you are not audible. Uh, teachers, not audible. This talk about we have seen like there are innumerable. Uh, someone please inform. Someone inform to, him that he is not audible. Like uh, upgrade. क्या फायदा है बोलने का? I'm not able to understand. Are you able to listen to him? No, ma'am. Nitin sir. Yes, yes. Nitin sir. Yeah, Nitin sir. Workshops on IT. वहाँ जाके बताइए कोई आसपास. He is not at uh, all, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. He is not audible at all. There is no need, I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess he has logged out, Mr. Nitin, because of uh, internet issues. So he has spoken about. uh your professional development talking about the role of the teachers that they'll be playing and for that uh, your professional qualification your pre service training your in service training that is 50 hours of mandatory training that is also important so i do appreciate the teachers who have started taking uh, part in different kinds of workshops and sessions and those who have even enrolled themselves in bed programs too so if you really want to pursue uh, your teaching career in the long run you have to go ahead with your bed degree right तो टाइमली परस्यू कर ले दैट इज बेटर लाइक इससे पहले कि वो फोर ईयर का ही रहे बस यू नो वेरी वेल इट इज फॉर फोर ईयर्स आल्सो फोर ईयर्स इंटीग्रेटेड इट इज फॉर टू ईयर्स आल्सो एंड आई डू नॉट नो इफ समवन बिकॉज समवेयर आई हैव रेड इन एनईपी दैट वन ईयर बी एड विल बी देयर फॉर द प्रोफेशनल्स आल्सो हु हैव कंप्लीटेड अ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिग्री इन अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट एंड दे वांट टू परस्यू uh b a degree that will be for one years and uh, i don't know when will when will it will be uh, started by ncte so make sure those who have not completed any kind of professional course make sure you enroll for that see i do appreciate if some of you they have completed they have cleared net exam and all net exam is for uh, becoming a lecturer in college if you are there in a school make sure you pursue b a degree as well because the teaching till 11th and 12th in a school requires be a degree that is mandatory okay because you will not be able to uh, be familiar with the nitty gritty uh, that you require being in a classroom right okay who is the next presenter please yes, sit at a, please sit at a proper place where there is a good internet connectivity because uh, uh we lost uh, nitin's voice after three i'm shall i present I... again uh 4:30 baje uh, ghar jana hai ya you i want you want to okay 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 go complete kar lene dono fir wo man mein reh jata hai ki ha i have not completed it After this, Omji and who else? Acha, Yasmin, Neha Agarwal, they're also there. Who else? Only three are there. Only three. So make sure you uh, don't take uh, more than ten minutes.
okay you may go to that particular slide only i guess you were talking about cpd professional yes, development yes yes okay right yes, so ma'am like we can see various workshops are conducted again we have lost your voice you talking about cpd you would have used uh, teachers are basically who, who updated is about PPT? what is have being, you, like uh, going uh, on Nitin sir, have you downloaded uh, PPT from the internet? Is rapidly changing, and all. Next uh, slide is career management. Uh, Nitin sir, uh, go back to the previous slide. Uh, a robust merit based structure He's of not tenure, promotion, huh? salary. Yes, we all are very much concerned about our promotions, also salary increment, also whenever the new session starts or whenever we join from one Achha. place to okay. another. So yes, so this is also very important as uh, uh, career management and progression is concerned. So these things also should be thought of in favor of teachers, and uh, then. Next is professional standards for teachers. Yes, it is very important for the teachers to mention maintain some professional standards whenever they like deal with. Not audible, Nitin sir. Not audible. Again, we have lost the connection. Lost your voice. <laughs> <laughs> not audible and where have you downloaded this ppt from nitin sir am yes. i audible i have made this ma'am if agar aapne ppt banayi hote you would have used the I'm pictures the creator, of our school only now I'm you have used the professional the development picture that is of some other school that doesn't uh, belong to our school teachers right and that was when at the last moment so uh, i could not find the pics matlab why you could not find you have not explored our uh, social media page rupa ma'am dipti ma'am pavan sir they presented that then there are all pictures were there on this uh, facebook was again ma'am number of was at the very last sessions have been conducted in our school so for that that should be connecting also i mean सब देखते ना कि हाँ इन्होंने पीपीटी बनाई है यस हाइलाइटेड मी यस आई मीन दैट शुड बी रिलेटेड टू अस ओके वेन एवर यू आर मेकिंग पीपीटी मेक श्योर यू यूज अ पिक्चर एज एन वेन आई यूज एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन आई ऑलवेज यूज द पिक्चर्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू ऑल ऑफ अस ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट्स रिलेटेड टू मी सो दैट वी फील कनेक्टेड ओके इसमें हम किसी और की पिक्चर वो जानते हैं आपको कोई भी जो पिक्चर जिनकी लगाई है प्रोफेशनल डिवेलपमेंट किसी स्कूल की इधर यूज क्लिप आर्ट और यूज योर ओन पिक्चर्स ओके now the next one om ji i guess this device is uh, not having proper internet connection where mr om ji is sitting or you have to shift to some other place or whatever because we could not get your voice properly mr nitin by the time they are finding a suitable okay, place okay, by the time mr om ji finds a suitable place uh, we can listen to uh, yasmin and neha agarwal yeah are ma'am good afternoon ma'am yeah good afternoon you are audible you, you may please begin ma'am my topic is fln foundational literacy and numeracy the nep 2020 is reconfiguring reconfiguring our system of schooling according to nep 2020 new academic replaced 10 plus 2 system with the new 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system includes classes from foundation to 12 which have curricular and pedagogical structure the five refers to the first five years of education from ages 3 to 8 then called the foundational stage then ages 8 to 11 preparatory stage 11 to 14 middle stage and 14 to 18 is called secondary stage firstly the most important term we try to develop skills in the foundational stage through activities like story telling indoor and outdoor games nature play music and dance and physical activities because they are the base of education 
fundamental literacy refers to the skills and strategies involved in students in reading, writing, speaking, interpreting their thoughts, and numeracy is the ability to apply in simple numerical concepts. Through this, I can try to develop their skills by doing more activities with the help of flashcards, puppet stories, and by doing more and more practice in oral as well as in writing. I would try to understand their problems, and after that, I would try to solve them. I also collaborate that they are to understand others with the help of printed worksheets for particular concepts, phoenix, problem solving, and self-management, information and communication technology, I will try to increase their knowledge. Fundamental learning goal is to enable children to form concepts related in the world around them through direct experience and interaction with the physical, social, and natural environment through language, mathematical thinking, and environmental awareness. Foundational skills are the fundamental portable skills that are essential to conveying and receiving information for training and for success. These skills are fundamental in that they serve as a basis of the foundation for supporting to achieve their task and for learning. There are seven areas of the foundational phases of learning are communication and language, physical development, personal and social, social and emotional development, literacy, mathematics, understanding the world, and expressive arts and designs. There are also seven fundamental movement skills aim to improve a child coordination, balance and control. These are running, jumping, coordination, throwing, catching, kicking and striking. I would try to focus them on interaction, their physical and language development for foundational stage, that is three to eight years and overall development of the child with focus in their early literacy and numeracy. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Now, Yasmin, ma'am, please. Good afternoon, ma'am. My topic is, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, set the camera, please. Set the mobile or laptop, whatever you are using. Good afternoon, okay. ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon. My, my topic is multi multilingual, multilingual NAP. National Education Policy 2020 will be plating on language education in school, underscore the need for examination and the promoting multi -regime. As a part to raising the fundamental aims of education and schooling, the effect of enable all learners learn and use 100 students in the 22 languages will go in a long way in the promoting language learning and understanding other through schooling of familiar students with the 22 Indian language of the eight schedules of the Indian constitution to foster <coughs> among students and the promoted national inclusion through learning of language. to bringing students close to the unique culture and the diversity of country through language. Thank you. Yeah, uh, okay, thank you. Next, uh, Mr. Omji, please, then I'll conclude it all together, okay? Because I, I know that I have to leave at 4.30. I'll make you free before that. And I have got some important announcements too. I won't take much uh, time for that. Yeah, Mr. Omji, please come quickly. Yes, good afternoon, ma'am. Today we will discuss about curricular integration of essential subject skills and capacities. Where are you? I can't find you. Which device you are using? As per name, I will pin you. Na? Where are you? Ram Vishal Mishra. Okay, fine. Okay. Yes, and while students must have a large amount of flexibility in choosing their individual curriculum, certain subject skills and capacities, such as can be learned by the all students become good, successful, innovative, and we can say adaptive, productive human being in today's rapid changing world. In addition to proficiency in language, these skills include innovative temper, science temper, and we can say problem solving, collaboration, teamwork, physical education, fitness, wellness, and written and communication, coding, problem solving, and environment awareness, including water and 
other resources conservation and the current affairs and the knowledge of the critical issues facing local communities states country and the world it is basically recognized that mathematics and the mathematical thinking will be very important for india's future and india's leadership role in the numerous upcoming field and professions that will involve artificial intelligence if we talking about machine learning data science etc mathematics and computational thinking will be given increased emphasis throughout the school years starting with the fundamental stages or throughout a variety of innovative method including the regular use of puzzle games and we can say mathematical thinking that will be more enjoyable and for engaging for the student every student i think will take a fun courses during the grade 6 to 8 that gives us survey and you can say hand on experience of uh, sampling of importance uh, vocational crafts such as uh, carpentry and uh, electric work electric work and uh, metal work and uh, gardening pottery making etc and is decided by the states and decided by the local communities and the student also participate in i think uh, 10 days backless period sometimes during the grade 6 to 8 where they can enter with the local vocational experts such as the carpenter gardeners potter etc and a similar intensive opportunity i think to learn a vocational subject may be made available for the student throughout the grade 6 to 12 also including holiday periods that will very less days will be encouraged that various type of enrichment activities such as uh, sports vocational craft educational tour also that that i we are planning so much planning for the science fair science day and the student i think will be taught the young is the importance of doing what's the right and will be given a logical framework for making ethical decisions thank you ma'am here okay. uh thank you <laughs> So, am I audible, teachers? Those who have not turned on their, those who did not turn on their cameras during the meeting, right? They please uh, consider themselves absent from the meeting, right? I don't know what you were doing, where you were walking, maybe you were in the canteen or enjoying. I do not know where you were. Okay, and those who were just behind the cameras, those uh, who could not face the screen, right? so because of any reason because you have not informed me right excuse me for a minute so all of you i have shared a few messages in the group first of all i would like to tell you uh, this first one is related to um national youth day and i have already informed social sciences teachers make sure you conduct activities those who are teaching sociology history uh, political science social science in respective classes from 9 to 12 make sure you tomorrow conduct some activities related to national youth day and share some pictures that can be a speech that can be a writing if you want to go ahead with that okay or any other kind of you want to use the uh, presentation or you want to use a smart board any kind of activities whatever you feel like please go creative okay so if you talk about uh, teacher autonomy yes you can take decisions what kind of activities related to that you want to conduct in the classes okay this is for social science department and another one is uh, related to suggest a slogan for a new india literacy program i have shared a link with all of you please go through that you enroll yourself first in you share your slogan and even share it with the students to check the age and all what all children can participate i guess above 6 standard you can share it with all the students 6 to 12 okay first you participate yourself in this activity and i have sent a message also that i have received from diosoreya like 
I will be submitting the printouts also. Like how many teachers, how many students they have participated in? What sort of slogans you have given? Okay, so make sure as and when you participate, if you get a certificate, take a screenshot for that. And for the entry also, you have to take a screenshot. I want to say like, for example, I'm just giving you an example. Suppose ekta mein participate karti hai usme, aur wo wahan par ek apni taraf se ek slogan deti hai ki ye hona chahiye. When you are writing the slogan, aapne wahan par fill kiya hai, to you have to take a screenshot for that. Like this is the slogan that you have given. And when you will be receiving for a uh, participation certificate, make sure you download that also. Okay, you all have to participate and encourage your students also to participate in the same. See, as and when we are getting any circular from CBSE for any kind of activity, then we have to submit the data with DIOS, with the local BSA office, wherever it is, we need to submit the same. So make sure you participate yourself and you also encourage the students also to take part in such activities, right? If you will do, they will also do, you can also inspire them for the same. So uh, this is one thing and another one, like uh, I have already received uh, an email from uh, uh, Dr. Avdeesh, like you are asking, like I cannot pick and choose the students. He in students, ko 16th ke batch mein or other students, they will be put in 17th. This cannot be done because it happens automatically, randomly. Okay, so either you choose another date, otherwise the students who will be taking part in the BML University's uh, presentation, they will be coming here on 14th and they'll be leaving here from 15th, okay, night. So obviously 16th, they will not be able to come to school. They'll be coming on 17th, okay. But I cannot uh, select, like if they are in the first batch, we have to upload their marks on the first day only, the day one. So either you select some another date, it can be 18th or it can be after 20th. I mean, accordingly, you can choose that. Dr. Avdeh, this is for you. If you need more clarity, you can talk to me personally also. Right? And uh, related to your uh, today's presentation, you talked about NEP, you talked about multilingualism, you talked about uh, enrollment, curtailing dropout rates, and what we have to do for uh, like enhancing, engaging uh, students more in the classroom activities. So that depends upon you, what you people can do as teachers, right? Make sure you have to be very, very creative for selecting different kinds of activities. But here is one message that I would like to give to, especially uh, the teachers who are taking a uh, foundational stage. Foundational stage is from foundation, our nursery till class two. Teachers make sure you have to be very creative, you have to be fluent in your expression too. That's why I'm giving you such opportunities. Like on this platform, you have to come and you have to speak. Because the students, when they take admission during the foundational stage, only then they will decide, their parents will decide after your communication, after their performance, whether the child stays in our school till class 12 or they just move to some another school. That depends upon your performance. So you have to be very, very competent you have to be very, very effective in your communication, very, very clear, okay? Make sure you work on your communication skills too, slowly and gradually. Give some time to yourself. When you are coming to the school, you are spending some time and you have to give time to the house. Weekend per chutti wale deni ya jaise bhi ya abhi to you are there in the school till 4.30. At least we are using this time. Ye aapka professional development hi to ho raha hai when we are talking. We are talking about effective communication. We are talking about NEP, how you are going to implement. This is how you have to need to spend some time. To be effective in your communication, please, with your spouse, with your children at home, start speaking in English. Like, you can be confident. You can ask the language teacher. You can talk to me also. I want to see a kind of transformation in you, in your communication also, right? So NEP ne itte zare list kare hai, point out National uh, Council for Teacher Education. They have even shared the competence levels of the teachers. Ki agar aap, it, aap mein ye competence is hai, only be a teacher. Ki ki aapne graduation kar li, kaise bhi kar li, kahi se bhi kar li, or when I go for examination and all, I, I notice when I, I am sitting for my MED exam, Along with me, some uh, BCom, BSE, BH students, they are sitting. When they are sitting, they are sitting. 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 They are sit
एक दिन पहले पढ़ के क्या आपकी स्टडी तो नहीं हो सकती ना यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ विल यू टीच द चिल्ड्रन पासिंग मार्क्स ले लोगे बट बच्चों को पढ़ाओगे कैसे यू विल नॉट हैव दैट नॉलेज हम नॉलेज की बात करते हैं कि हम रोड लर्निंग नहीं करने बट एक बेसिक नॉलेज होना चाहिए इफ यू हैव गॉट नॉलेज ओनली दैट बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डिवेल्प स्किल और स्किल होगी नॉलेज होगा तभी एटीट्यूड आता है एटीट्यूड मतलब पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड वो तभी आएगा अगर अंदर कुछ नहीं है नॉलेज नहीं है तो वो एटीट्यूड इस काइंड ऑफ दिखावा स्किल नहीं है लाइक like, नॉलेज तो रावण के पास भी बहुत थी राइट right? पर उसको पता नहीं था यूज कैसे करनी है कब करनी है कहाँ करनी है राइट right? बट हमें पहले वो नॉलेज तो गैदर करें बिना उसके तो नहीं होगा ना कुछ रावण से ज्यादा नॉलेज किसी को नहीं थी ना उसको नॉलेज के लिए अभी भी उसको अप्रिशिएट किया जाता है आप अगर वो रामायण का लास्ट पोर्शन देखिए जिसमें कि जब वो रावण को तीर लग जाता है तो उसके बाद में श्री राम उसको कहते हैं लक्ष्मण को कि जाकर इनके पाओ में खड़े हो और उनसे कुछ उपदेश लो कि उनके बेस्ड ऑन नॉलेज वॉट ही वट द मैसेज ही वुड लाइक टू कन्वे टू अस राइट सो इन नॉलेज बहुत अच्छी चीज होती है सीखेंगे तभी तो उसके ऊपर हम दूसरों को अच्छी नॉलेज दे पाएंगे सही गलत का जो डिफ्रेंशिएशन है वो तभी हो पाएगा अगर नॉलेज होगी तो तो मेक श्योर टीचर स्पेंड सम टाइम ऑन योर प्रोफेशनल डेवलपमेंट जो चैप्टर बच्चों को स्कूल में पढ़ा रहे हैं वो पहले पढ़ के आए उनके सामने आप भी रीडिंग करना शुरू नहीं करें रीड इट बिफोर एंटरिंग द क्लास कम टू द क्लास रूम फुली प्रिपेयर राइट आपको आधा चैप्टर पढ़ाया ना तो आप आधा पढ़ के आ जाओ राइट right? उतनी चीज आप छेड़ा ही मत वन फोर्थ पढ़ लीजिए जितना आपके पास टाइम है बट कम फुली प्रिपेयर ये नहीं कि स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन दे कम टू मी कि हमने टीचर से ये सवाल पूछा उसको नहीं आ रहा तो ठीक है मैं नहीं चाहती कि आपको सारे सवालों के जवाब आते हो बट जो आप पढ़ा रहे हैं तो वो क्लैरिटी होनी चाहिए राइट ओके फाइन दिस इज वॉट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज इसके ऊपर वर्क करिएगा नीडफुल ये आपका जो स्लोगन वाला वाला काम है मेक श्योर यू डू द नीडफुल हिंदी में बहुत अच्छे बच्चे लिखते हैं आप लोगों के स्लोगन एंड ऑल मेक श्योर यू गो हैड विद दैट काफी राइमिंग एंड ऑल दे कैन गो हैड विद दैट एंड लैंग्वेज टीचर्स इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचर्स इज वेल राइट मोटिवेट दैम एंड ये मुझे चाहिए सारी डिटेल्स मेक श्योर यू सेंड इट एट द अर्लीस्ट बाय टूमोरो ओके सो लेट सी लोडी का क्या प्रोग्राम है वी शेल प्लान लाइक वेदर विल बी सेलिब्रेटिंग इन द स्कूल या कैसे है विल थिंक अबाउट इट ओके लोडी तो सेलिब्रेट करते हैं ना हम ओके चलिए ओके ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अ नाइस डे थैंक यू